One of the things we emphasize here is, is the student safe? And that doesn't just mean, of course, safely handling the patient, but are they safe when they give medications? Are they safe when they calculate doses? Are they safe when they do the patient's blood pressure? They are having patients come in who have these conditions. They have to be prepared to respond if there were a medical emergency. I want to be able to, as a patient, to look up at that nurse and know that they can take care of me. We are using handheld devices to see if the student's learning will improve, to see if their test grades will improve, and to see if we can make better nurses. The name of the project is the Health Science Mobile Device Pilot. In this last summer, uh, 2010, Tracy Atkins came to us and said that Reed Christenberry wanted to allot some money to buy um, an iTouch for all the first year students and an iPad for the second year students. And the technology department here provided some money to put uh, a specialized nursing software program on the devices and also to buy devices for the dental hygiene students. Well, we actually were asked to join in this project after nursing. Nursing last year had a very small pilot where they had 10 students that were provided with a mobile device. It is um, really exciting. We are cutting edge as far as you know, most hygiene schools. In fact, one of the um, apps that we use, which is the LexiComp app, we are the only college in the country that's using that application for our student use in looking up drug references and using their online textbooks. It allows them, rather than, which is what we were doing before, getting a textbook out, looking it up in the textbook, copying that information from the textbook, now they've got it right there at their fingertips and can immediately look it up, plug in a number of different drugs, see if there's any interactions with the drugs that may be potentially harmful to the patient. They also have um, information on a bunch of textbooks that have to do with pathology. So if they see a lesion in a patient's mouth, they can just look that up, look under red lesions, here's my choices, gee, this looks like the one I'm looking at, and be able to quickly gather information on it as they try to come about with a um, interpretation of what that lesion might be. The Nursing Central software that we use is a program that has several components. One is a drug guide, and the students probably have found this the most invaluable. Um, if they, they have the iTouch device, they can just simply put it in their pockets when they're at the bedside, and then if they don't know a particular drug, they can pull it out and look up a drug and be able to safely give the drug as well as teach the patient about it. You have a lot of different medications that you don't normally use, especially because I was on the ortho floor. So like having the iPad with me, you know, I could just go to our nursing central and then type in the medication and it would pull up on Davis Drug Guide anything that I needed to know about it, you know, if they had to take it with food, um, any kind of drug interactions. Nursing Central also has a dictionary so they can look up unknown words. It has a lab manual so they can look up lab values in the clinical setting. I wish we could show you the books. They're like, we made, we did a stack one day. It's about this high of books that require the students to have in nursing. So we're talking about the, uh, the dic medical dictionary, 2,000 uh, pages, and they would have to have a Davis Drug Guide, which is part of the requirements. There's about three books in here that are required books for the students to buy anyway. We're no longer looking at a textbook that may be very dated, even you know if the edition just came out, because this information is constantly being updated because it's online material. We have also been able to record the lectures and make them into podcasts so the students can listen to the lectures over and over again. And the students have talked about how they can listen to them in the car or standing in line at the grocery store and they can pick up information they missed the first time around. Um, they can also go back with the podcast and review information that might be difficult. So it definitely helps the, the learning and retaining of information from the lecture content. Every skill that they have to learn to perform back to their instructors, they have a, a, basically a video for that. During class, I have the lectures up uh, on my iPad and I just I fly through it like this. Um, when I'm driving in my car, I listen to the lectures on my iPad. Um, I have a few apps that look up different body parts like bones. I'm always on the go. So if I need to, you know, go, you know, to like my mom's house or to a friend's house and, you know, I want to take a break, then I have the lectures right there for me. So I can just stop and study at any time. 
Well, clinically, we've seen that they come to clinic much more prepared. They have a lot less time that they're waiting around for an instructor to come over and help them with a skill because they can just watch it and then mimic it from the podcast. So I think that it's going to make them stronger clinically when they get into the offices because they're going to have more experience. They're going to have spent more time practicing than they have in the past. Information is right there in your hands. And that's better than what I, as a nurse and student, had. You know, we had looks, we had to look books around, and I can't beat this.